this is the Cambridge Guided Busway. It runs on old railway lines or where, where railway tracks um, and it was built about five or six years ago. It runs for about a few miles this time south of Cambridge but north of Cambridge it goes for about 16 miles and the buses go on ordinary roads in the middle of Cambridge and it also means the buses can start elsewhere and then join the guided busway. So it gives them a segregated infrastructure away from the motor traffic so we've got here a rail system and the little rubber tyres on the sides of the buses which help the steering to make it get into the concrete track. And these buses can travel at 50 miles an hour on this track. And on all the guided busways we've also got a cycling and walking path alongside, free from the traffic. One of the reasons for using a guided bus system is that because you've got a narrow concrete strip for the wheels and you've got this grass air in between, there's no, sit there's no drainage system. All the drainage is integrated, the water runs into the gravel in the middle and soaks away. And it also means that where these go under old railway bridges, you've actually, the bus can go through a narrow railway bridge which you wouldn't be able to do if it wasn't guided. The car trap is to stop people driving their cars along the route. It's designed to stop any car that tries to enter the route. Unfortunately, some do get stuck and then, of course, the buses can't get through and they have to go and pull them out. It's usually, you know, very rare I've seen a car stuck here. Uh, the bells above there are because this can only take single-deck buses because there is a low railway bridge further on on this route. And it's to remind them, it's to make sure you, there are some double-deck guided buses but they can't come on this section.